guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Carolina, or Life with Garo. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm going to be trying out the silicone sponge that I got in my Summer Beauty Con box. And I'm also going to be trying out one of the lipsticks that I got. So I got a ColourPop liquid lipstick, so I'm going to be trying that out as well. And I'm going to be trying out the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter that I purchased um, a few weeks ago. I want to see what my thoughts are on the products that I got in some of the products that I got in my BeautyCon summer box just keep watching okay guys so I'm gonna try out this makeup drop cruelty free non toxin and parent free silicone makeup applicator so this came in my BeautyCon box and I showed you guys if you haven't seen the video yet I'll go ahead and link it in the description so this is what the packaging looks like this is what the applicator looks like it's like a silicone sponge so this is what I'm gonna use to put on my foundation. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is what the foundation looks like and I am in the shade 104 Golden Beige. This feels really stiff. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to like dab it in or like blend it out like this. This feels like really stiff, like maybe I just don't know how to use it. I'm not used to something like this to apply my foundation. I'm more used to the sponge, which is this, and it's really, really soft. I'm going to put a little bit more on the sponge. And I'm going to do this side. So like if I spread it out, you can, it just looks really streaky, but I'm going to dab it in like I did on the other side and see what happens. I'm not really a big fan of this at the moment. Like my foundation looks like. Like here it doesn't look too bad, but on this side it looks more cakey. And I'm not really into like, I'm not into cakey foundations, but when I use the sponge, like this one, it doesn't do that to my foundation. I picked this foundation out, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, just because I know I already love this foundation and I've used it in the past. So that's why I wanted to try a foundation that I already know that I like. Um, with this to see if it works but like so far I don't like it like I don't like how it's leaving my foundation I don't know if you guys can see like right here like it looks cakey ignore my eyebrows I need to get them done like around my nose area is like caking up right here and right here it didn't even cover like this. Uh, but yes, guys, like first impressions, I'm not really a big fan of this. I'm going to have to just uh, try and see if I can like touch it up with this and see what happens. To me, this just feels so much better. It's bouncier on my face. And I'm not saying like the sponge hurts like the silicone sponge like it doesn't hurt but it just feels weird and hard tapping it on your face How my foundation is turning out so far like it just looks patchy it looks a little bit cakey around the areas and I'm not sure if it's because I use I try to use this first and then let it dry and went ahead and use this afterward I'm gonna try to use the my concealer and with the same silicone sponge and see what it looks like so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline instant H rewind 
concealer. This is what the concealer looks like. It's one of my favorite drugstore concealers. <laughs> skin to look nice and smooth and this is not giving me that effect so I'm not really enjoying the silicone sponge it did blend it out a little bit better with the concealer and I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna go back in with the sponge and just blend it out a little bit more Ultra Satin Lip that came in my Beauty Con box, which it looks like this. This is in the color London Fog. It doesn't dry down completely matte, but it's like a satin matte finish, so. It is going to transfer, so just be careful with that. But it's a really pretty color. This is going to be the final look. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any videos that you guys would like me to film, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure I'll do any videos that you guys want me to. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.